Hello to all the GSL viewers around the world. I am the host of You Bet, Wolf. How have you been doing? I've been having a hard time. Our predictions were mostly incorrect in the last round of 16. In fact, the round of 16 was full of unexpected results. Solki was eliminated, Maru got first, and SOS got a remarkable score. I know it's getting harder to predict these results, but I'm not going to stop here. So I'll give you my thoughts about the GSL round of 8. Are you ready? Then come with me. There's going to be a Protoss in the GSL final no matter what. Match 1 and 2 in the round of 8 are all Protosses versus Protosses. SOS has an excellent Protoss versus Protoss win rate in GSL matches. He's 13 and 3, which is 81.3% of his 16 matches he's played since 2012. This year he met Protoss 3 times and won all 3 times. He's won against such strong contenders as Deer, Avenge, and Classic. SOS's recent 10 results are 8 wins and 2 losses. I think he knows how to win Protoss vs Protoss. I have to admit there's not a ton of data to analyze Zest with, but that doesn't mean you can underestimate him. He met Protoss 3 times in the GSL and won 3 times. What about the total map score? It's 75%. He's 6 and 2. Pretty impressive. He won against players like Stork, Trap, and Deer. He blocked and won against Swagger Strategy recently in Pro League. Zest's victory can be predicted reasonably looking at his recent matches. SOS and Zest have very different game styles. SOS has a lot of early builds, but he's also strong in the late game. Doesn't really have much of a weak point. However, Zest's playstyle is very stable and he scouts precisely. This makes him a strong defensive player. If SOS is a spear, then Zest is a shield. Zest has a lack of experience in individual leagues compared to SOS, but he may be able to amaze us again, reminding us of when he defeated Sulky. <laughs> The second match in the round of eight is yet again an exciting Protoss versus Protoss. Rain's been excellent since Wings of Liberty, and Hero's rising to power right now. Finally, these two are going to meet in the round of eight. Rain is not a flashy opponent, but he's certainly not an easy one. He's very skilled, especially when it comes to Protoss vs Protoss. In his 11 PvPs, the win ratio is 81.8%. That's 9 wins and 2 losses. What about individual maps? He won 18 out of 25 of them. He's just shut his opponents out. In his most recent 10 matches, he was 8 wins and 2 losses against Protoss. Can any Protoss block his way? If there's one Protoss, this guy might be the one. I present to you Hero, a new rising Protoss star from CJ Antis. He won two international matches in a row, and he's a top gun of his team. And he's making a career high this season. His PvP win rate is 71.4%, 5 wins and 2 losses. Not bad at all. In fact, he won over strong Protoss players such as Trap and Rain. But his path to victory was a rocky road. His total map scores are 11 wins and 8 losses, which means that in total, his map win ratio isn't as impressive. His wins versus Protoss definitely didn't come easy for him. Rain and Hero met in this season's GSL round of 32, and Hero won that match. In other words, one of Rain's two losses versus Protoss were against Hero. However, Hero also has disadvantages. For example, he has to go to Poland for IEM, so he might not have time to repair as much for his round of eight match. <laughs> Team 
상황을 일단 시위를 확보해서 만족은 하고 있지만 여기서 만족으로 끝나는 게 아니라 더 높이 올라갈 수 있도록 노력하겠습니다. Who do I predict to be this season's GSL round of four? SOS and Rain. I think SOS has shown his 120% in individual leagues. He may have a lack of preparation time due to participating in IEM, but Zest's style is pretty transparent and it shouldn't be too hard for SOS to defeat him. Hero has experienced somewhat of a lull after participating in overseas tournaments. He was on a bit of a losing streak after participating in IEM Sao Paulo. Rain never misses his enemy's weak points, so I think he should be able to triumph here again. We have predicted this round of eight based on our statistics and results. No one should ever blindly believe statistics. However, it's one of the most reliable things we have to go on. I have a pretty good idea about how these matches will go. I can't wait to watch these GSL round of eight matches. I'm alive for the very first time. I feel your voice in my ear and your heart on my mind. Those sunset eyes, the some kind of sigh. Mm, don't you love me today just to leave me tonight? You are the fire that can fight the cold. I breathe you in and never feel alone. We are the chemicals that found our home and we are gonna react.
What's up, guys? This is Tastosis back here at the GSL. It's good to have you back, man. I missed Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be back. I missed you as well. Yeah. Uh, I was watching you and Wolf together, and I can't say I wasn't jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here now. Uh, not many players left, Artosis. No, only eight. Only eight. Yeah. And I gotta say, we couldn't ask for uh, better I was players. Show and be like, this is the finals. This is the right? finals, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you know, here today uh, we got some badass players. Protoss still doing very well. We got one player, Protoss player in particular, who's uh, who's quite hot. Uh, not just not right now, but uh, in the past few months, SOS looking very good. Yeah, he's. You uh, can testify well, that you were there first person. Yeah, I can't for wait. For his badass. What I'm so excited about on this side of the bracket, because I was just at the IM World Championships over yeah. in Poland, and. Um, SOS versus Hero, who are both playing today in PvPs, was the final. Yeah, where I, I, I'm SOS kind of hoping won. they can meet again. Later. I hope so too. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. SOS won $100,000. Zero. Hero won nothing because it was a winner take all tournament. And uh, it was like, it was kind of a funny finals, a sad finals as well. SOS was just like proxy gating. And so, you know, like, there were like basically five all ins in a row, yeah. four of which SOS won. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny when you watch SOS play because I would say, especially in the finals, uh, just like we saw with him against Jadong at BlizzCon, I mean, this guy knows what he has to do. Uh, it, it, he, Shame doesn't exist does for not, SOS. He does not care if it's uh, a legit game or a real game that he's going to play. He's going to win. Yeah. He's, um, uh, he's now won $200,000 tournaments. Doesn't God, even go to other ones. God damn, man. Who cares? Yeah. I mean, this one. This one's a lot of prize money. We re uh, we increased the GSL prize pool this for this season. I forget exactly how much it's to, but it's like a lot more than the previous season. So I guess that's why he's doing so. He's like, ah, you know, it's not a hundred grand, but like <laughs> it's, it's just down the I street care. from my home. I guess I'll just come down and you know win it. Uh, he's going up against Zest, who I would say is in the shadow of the other players we have here. But um, should he be? He's so good. He's been up well, and coming for a he's, bit. He's also. Uh, Really kicking a lot of ass right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have Rain too. Rain, I would say, the most seasoned player here. Uh, definitely, you know, that old school conservative Protoss play, whereas yeah. we're seeing a lot of other Protoss players be a little bit more abstract, a little bit more experimental. Uh, he's the one I'm looking forward to see. How does his play style, and he's, he's, he's tweaked it a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, how does his play style compare to uh, this large amount of Protosses we still have that are doing so well? Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see that. And another thing that's kind of cool is, uh, you know, Rain is going up against Hero and SOS is going up against Zest. And of yeah. course, Zine didn't travel. These other two guys just that's, got back. That's a big factor. I mean, jet lag plays a huge role. You're, a probably, role. you're probably pretty jet lagged, man. You got I, in yesterday. I am. I actually woke up like literally two hours ago. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I woke up better, two hours ago. Better so. that than you woke up like, you know. No, if I woke up this <laughs> like morning and didn't take hours a nap, ago, yeah. it, it would have been really bad. So. I don't know how many of our viewers actually travel, but when you got to go somewhere and be on the ball, especially for our players here oh, today, yeah. that's going to take a toll, man. Your brain just does not work at 100%. And that's what you need. So that's why I'm like really kind of into seeing how these guys do. Because not only are they jet lagged, but they played a lot of matches uh, yeah. this past weekend. And that's something that can be studied by their opponents who were basically just chilling in Korea. You know, of course, playing a little bit of Pro League, but um, overall getting to practice a lot more, not being overtired or anything like that. And that definitely could affect it. So our first matchup is going to be SOS against Zest, then Rain against Hero on Friday, Life vs. Maru, and Parting versus Sue. Now, I don't want to you know, take any thunder no. away from our matches here today, but I'm definitely looking forward to Friday's matches. Friday's matches. I think it's going to be incredible. Dude, the winner is coming out of that side of the bracket, I'm telling you right now. That is an insane side. Yeah. I was I, jokingly saying, or only half jokingly saying at the beginning of the season, before we even started the round of 32, the saw the groups that Maru would win yeah. this. But I am actually going back and saying that again. It's going to be Maru or Life. The winner of that match is taking this tournament, Tasteless. I, Life I, looked so good at IEM. When, well, if and when Maru wins, then we know that those people complaining about Protoss just need to shut up, man. A Terran won again. Game is perfectly balanced. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. Well, Maru knows how to hold blink all ins as well, so that that definitely helps. <laughs> it does. Uh, thank God, by the way, uh, that we do have a Terran that got this far. Yeah. I was worried that we would not have any Terrans go on even to the round of 16. Um, but this is an exciting story. You know, we have a possible rematch here um, with uh, SOS against uh, Hero. Mm -hmm. That's one interesting narrative. A Terran possibly winning when we when we only had three Terrans to start. Uh, this GSL yeah, Codes. Yeah. And uh, the comeback very of life, well. yeah. of course. The Royal uh, Rotor. 
Parting is still in here. He doesn't have his GSL championship yet. And uh, let's not forget, if it goes Zest versus Rain in this side of the bracket, uh, Zest all killed SKT1 in the round one Pro League playoffs. Yeah. So that's, He's been uh, doing very well in the team leagues. We've got to see how well he does in the individual leagues. Yeah. That, and of course, I mean, then that's you got cool. Rain, the longstanding Protoss, who's the most conservative of all the Protoss mm -hmm. players, is his play style, uh, although be it slightly adjusted, I think, to the metagame right now. Yeah. Uh, can it last, or was that a thing of the past? Was that a phase in the metagame that he had mastered? Uh, how far can he go? Could have been. He's mastered a lot of phases of the metagame before. He's really one of these guys that has revolutionized Protoss, but that can be said also for Parting, who remains in the tournament, and also uh, for SOS, who remains in the tournament. Three so, of the most important Protosses in the world still here. Uh, we We're going to go to the interview uh, and see what our players are thinking, feeling, their expectations for the matches. Coming in here today, as we are now in the final eight. 3번트로 진행이 되기 때문에 경기 나서는 두 선수분을 제 양옆에 모시고 인터뷰를 진행하도록 하겠습니다. 자 가장 먼저 이 폐강전 첫 번째 경기에 나서는 두 명의 주인공 바로 김유진 선수와 주성 선수 이야기 나눠보겠습니다. 먼저 김유진 선수 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 주성 선수 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네. 어 가장 먼저 김유진 선수. 우선 어우 정말 멋진 우승컵을 들고 오셨습니다. 축하드립니다. 네, 감사합니다. 네, IEM. Congratulations on winning IEM. 기분이 어떠세요? 어, 아직 우승한 지 아, 얼마 안 돼서 아직 기억 남아서 오늘 또 이길 수 있을 것 같아요. 네, 정말 생생하게. I still feel confident after winning IEM, and my confidence continues even now. 아까도 참 많이 들을 것 같은데. Look at those guns on Zach. God, he is cut, man. Only Protoss players, man. 대박. 축하한다는 메시지보다 뭘 싸라는 말이 더 많았던 것 같아요. Because of the prize money I won, uh, I've received a, a lot more questions about what I'm going to do with the prize money than the congratulation messages. I think I got to plan what I'm going to do with the money after this GSL. Congrats to SOS for winning IEM. And I'm happy against playing SOS because I'm very confident in mirror matchups. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because SOS has become so strong recently. It may seem that I've become strong suddenly in, in broadcasting matches, but I always felt that I'm one of the top players uh, in skill level. So it says you might become a Royal Rotor. <laughs> Even though it's impossible at this point. <laughs> you defeated many ex-champions. SOS says that he wants to play against the strongest players. That's bench more than the rest of the top eight. That's, that's for sure, man. He's number one that. I really hope Zest as well. But nowadays, even if I want to lose, it seems like I can't. What a problem to have! I don't going to feel sorry even if I win, because that's what I started one I am. Any, any comment to your opponent? 
You've already made a lot of achievements, so let me win. Only champions know how it feels to be a champion. And I believe that's going to do it for our interview. So, Zest Man is looking pretty cut. Yeah. Damn, well, man, I got to hit the gym. You know, it's it, they're like, well, Zest, I mean, some of these other pros are still practicing. Why aren't you? Flash is still practicing. Why aren't you practicing? He's like, well, I mean, you know, I, I think I've practiced enough. If something goes wrong, I'm just going to throw up a bunch of force fields, right? So, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> when Twitch chat asks Zest, does he even lift? He goes, yeah, actually all the yeah, time. Yeah, I lift a lot, yeah. yeah. That's why I always open the Phoenix. Oh my god, look at the yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I love oh it. I god. hope that this is the an official change. S -S -S. That is so good. He has won in the past three and a half, no, four months, two, over 200 grand. This is like actually insane. Oh um, my god. I really hope that's a permanent name change, name change right oh, there. Oh, that has to be. That that's too good. This is uh, this has nothing on when Snoop Dogg so became funny. Snoop Lion. No, no, <laughs> this is actually just so funny for me. And like, he's saying like he has to decide would do the money. Thing is, he is like the most based pro gamer. He doesn't give any crap no, he doesn't at, care all. at all. Like, he will do any strategy. He does crazy stuff. Actually, he had a game tasteless. I don't know if you saw, but he went carriers against Terran. Dude. And he killed him with nine carriers. He's so it was sick. like, but you gotta you gotta look at this, and it reminds me of MVP and Wings of Liberty. Yeah, uh, you know where MVP we we would say, okay, this is the final match. What's he gonna do? Well, he'll cheese. Yeah, he'll cheese three out of you know <laughs> seven games. Yeah, uh, same with SOS. He just looks at the player. He has he's got a very good uh, eye for how his opponent thinks. Yeah, uh, especially in in, in uh, a match that whatever match they're in in that phase of the tournament that he meets him in. And it's incredible. I almost wonder how SOS would do in a game like poker. You know, he's got such a good read on, on how the other player thinks. A lot of the stuff that you see, he, he's doing sneaky stuff that only work against a code S level player. He's throwing out some yeah, false information, yeah. cheesing just a little bit too much. Uh, it's it's crazy, man. And I wonder, you know, when he says he has to think what to do with his money, I could see him just doing something so wild. He's like, he buys, like, Ten thousand dollars worth of ramen and boils it in a swimming pool. <laughs> Brings all his friends over and they just have a party. I'm like, well, that tastes kind of chlorine-ish, but okay, thanks, SOS. I'll have some of your rich man noodles. Oh my God, that's that's baller right there. Yeah, he's gonna get out of control eventually. Oh yeah. Is. Over the next five years, we're gonna see the destruction of SOS as he goes on to win a million dollars before MC. <laughs> all right, our first map is going to be Frost. SOS against Zess here. Now, SOS, uh, I would have to say, is the favorite. You would I think, think so, right yeah. Right when you and I am. Now, keep in mind, there is the very real factor that jet lag exists. He's going to yeah. have some fatigue. Uh, he didn't have any time, obviously, to practice on that airplane. No, that's for so, sure. Well, he could have bought probably his own airplane with a great internet connection <laughs> with all the money he's won recently. But, yeah, probably not. And if you look at this first map, Frost, it's a four-player map. It How is. is he gonna get two gateways in his opponent's base in the opening? He's gonna have to guess what main they're in. He's gonna have to flip a three-sided coin. That's <laughs> the only way to do it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Try making one of those. It's not it's easy. It's difficult. It's difficult, that's for sure. Generally, it'll have more than three sides. Most of the time, more than less. Going on into our first match now. It is SOS against Zest. Here with Tastos is back in the GSL Code S. 2014. Hasek GSL Season 1, Round 8, SOS versus Zest. You know what I would love is if SOS just continued to proxy eight people all the time, just like one GSL just proxying like against all the he races. He makes just exactly 100,000 more dollars and then he quits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just think that would be brilliant. He's... I wonder how long until he breaks into one of the very top money earners. Because I know he's already one of the very top, but like the trio of MC, Nesty, and MVP are pretty hard to touch as far as money goes. It's it's a pretty tall order, but you know he's doing it in a very short amount of time. Yeah, yeah he doesn't need that long. So uh, they're both hugging the left side of the map here. Uh, neither player has opted to scout Whoa. just yet. Whoa! 
That we are on 13 supply last time we just saw, and there's no gateway still from SOS. Or dollar sign, zero dollar sign, as I like to call him. <laughs> He's going Nexus first, Stasis. Now let's see how this actually works. Um, you got to keep in mind, uh, and it's not uncommon with the Protosses nowadays, a lot are not scouting right away. Mm -hmm. On a map this big, uh, the odds of you finding your opponent right away in the first spot are pretty low. That's true. Um, and it even takes a long time to get there. Now let's see which way the probe goes. It looks like it's going to go up. So this, whatever SOS is doing, it would have been 10 times stronger yeah, I uh, had this probe from Zestman going to the bottom right now. Uh, I'm really interested in seeing how exactly Zest responds and what SOS is going to do now that he could scout it so quickly. Well, this is also the problem with how uh, SOS was just in a tournament because uh, Zest obviously saw all those games and he went Nexus first on Ultra Zim, uh Stronghold against Hero. So. He's going to know how SOS likes to do this. Like, SOS likes to very quickly... Oh, wait, did he just steal his gas? Yeah? Did he? No, 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 no. no, no, okay. no, no. Sorry. Uh, but he's going to know that, for instance, SOS went right into uh, Quick Immortals off of this, and that's how he just barely held against a 4-gate blink all in. So he could use that to his advantage. Maybe he's still going to try sure. a blink all in. Maybe he's just going to make a Nexus. But perhaps he goes into a Stargate and does some sort of all in with that. I'm so excited to see this. SOS is rapidly becoming my favorite player out of everybody. I always totally knew he would. Because the, yeah, well, cause he's, he plays to win, man. And yeah. he's got cool builds. Yeah, he's kind of like... Uh, he is. He's the type of player that... He's like a, a new seed or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, he uses hallucinations. Yeah, he's got, he's got a lot of wonk, wonky, gimmicky stuff. But I love it. We do see a Stargate coming up. So uh, will it be an Oracle? We'll see. Uh, Oracle of course, probably wouldn't be a bad choice here. There are hilarious old void rail lines, although those are not uh, quite as common. And oh, will he actually? Yeah, it looks yeah, like he wants he's going to zone get out that pro, but it, I think there's really no way. Yeah, it's going to make a full circle here. Now, uh, is he going to wait to start up? No, he makes an Oracle, and I doubt that's going to be canceled. No, if you chrono boost that and then cancel it, it's almost better it's to let waste. them know that you have it anyways and just yeah. let it finish because it's almost done. <laughs> so. What will he do from this Oracle? Because the Oracle, like, okay, Oracle 3 gate. Now, this is a very powerful build. Maybe he can break right through, but the fact that SOS saw that means he won't be making a Robo. He's just going to make a lot of gateway units. Yeah, he has no concern of Dark Templars or really trying to figure out what his opponent's doing at all. Since yeah. seeing the Oracle, it really tells the entire story. So, um, oh my god, a second Oracle. Well, this is very... Uh, all in here from Zest. He's committing to it at the bare minimum destroying the Nexus. Yeah, he needs to. And if you look at the uh, gateway timing and the warp gate timing here, it's not that far off for SOS. So that could end up being a big problem here for the rush of Zest. Now, Zest is going to, looks like, park a uh, Oracle at uh, the upper right side of SOS's main base here, hoping to come in uh, and possibly. Uh, bait out some stalkers, or maybe bait out a, a Nexus cannon. I think that's pretty unlikely from a player like mm. uh, you know SOS in this case. SOS yeah. is still waiting patiently, allowing the Nexus to, to, to soak up damage. I think he's going to allow the Nexus to die, to be honest. Because uh, if he's oh, got he a Nexus is. cannon, he has to do it really soon. And he's made a proxy pylon. Okay, here we go. We actually do have an Oracle coming in from the side. He does have a second Oracle, though. So far, this has been a bit of a tightrope walk here for, uh, for SOS. He hasn't fallen off that wire yet, though. Uh, he is still pushing back slowly. Uh, Zest army, Zest now coming back in again. Uh, that upper right oracle now looping down. Or uh, excuse me, bottom left oracle. Ah, uh, yeah, he's bringing it down for now. And, uh, okay, and he did the mothership cannon. All right, so that means he is going to try to keep this nexus. This is kind of dangerous, though, because Zest has a lot of units. Of course, we do have a good amount of units coming out of SOS as well. Hasn't really and, used and that nexus Zealous yet. Zealous that he warped in over here into the main. Uh, this did force the Oracles to come back. Mm -hmm. uh, they are going to get the pylon. Nicely done, but that is Oracle energy that they can't use for that big attack. <laughs> SOS still has the probe in his main. This is SOS <laughs> for you, man. SOS is like, games. Oh. Hey, you, you, SOS's games are like out of a movie yeah. of what a StarCraft match would be like, yeah. you know? Like, you would think of it like, no, no, that wouldn't actually happen. It's I like mean. fan <laughs> fiction. Yeah, it's like eSports fan fiction, basically. Yeah. Okay, he's coming in now, yeah, he's and he's just going to give up the Nexus. Now, the question is, who comes out ahead of all this? Worker counts are very even, supplies even enough, and now with two Zealots coming over here uh, into the main for Zest, uh, you got to say, by the way, it's a really tight wall off. That's such a perfect wall off. And look at that. Yeah. It gives them enough time to warp in these two Zealots as well. Uh, I would say, after all of this, you have to give a slight lead to Zest. 
but we do have the Twilight tech coming up for uh, SOS, so you definitely can't count them out because when both of them have a ton of stalkers and one guy gets blink and one guy does not, the guy with blink is ahead. This is true. Uh, bringing the Oracles back here to clean up these Zealots. He doesn't want them out on the map anywhere, and it looks like a Nexus, uh, yeah, Nexus will go down. Three Stalkers warped in, but they're spotted by the Oracle at the last second. A cancel there. You know, I gotta say, SOS is, considering this, the build he started out with, and how soon he was scouted and all these situations that he's been put in, he's really handled this quite well. I do say Zest is ahead, but uh, I gotta hand it to uh, SOS. I'm very impressed with how this yeah. has been handled so far. He's you really couldn't ask for better handling considering how well Zest is playing. He's rock solid. Yeah. Uh, everything is looking great. He's, you know, despite losing that Nexus, despite the fact that, uh, you know, all of his little Zalt warp and harassment hasn't really worked out, he's still gonna get Blink, and I think that's gonna allow him to secure an expansion and have the game go forward. Now, Blink uh, being uh, nearly done here. Uh, you gotta say, uh, Zest will have to give up the low ground shortly. Mm -hmm. He's also warping a lot of stalkers. Now let's see if he could oh. actually sandwich this army that's out there as a contain. Yeah, it looks like that's what he wants to do. Uh, he doesn't have blink yet. Does lose a stalker there, just a little bit sloppy. But as these stalkers come up for the flank and blink finishes, if he can kill off this whole army that's over here via Zest, which is looking more and more likely, well, now that the piling season, maybe not. Yeah. But, uh, that would have been amazing. That would have given him a lead, I would say. Okay, he's now uh, free to move around on the map, and the roles have uh, reversed here a bit. It started out with SOS uh, as the one who was going to go for the econ build, and Zest was uh, in an all-in situation. Now it's SOS trying to close in on Zest and sink his teeth in. Oh, and look at this. A really great place for Zest to actually uh, engage this, right behind those bushes where SOS has to kind of overcommit forward. Uses the Guardian Shield as well, but as you can see, SOS's Stalker is getting a lot of value here. Uh, Blinky beautifully, by the way. He now pulls those Stalkers back. Uh, again, worker count is the same here, but there is an extra Nexus right now uh, for Zest. He does warp it. Again, he never got rid of that pylon? Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I the just, probe is still I just, there, too. <laughs> I just assumed the entire time. God, SOS is so awesomely funny. Um, well, I mean, he's going to continue to try to harass in here with these three Stalkers while trying to hit the front with the other Stalker I group. I think this just barely will... Well, I don't know, actually, the Immortal out here. Yeah. Looks like he will hold that for now. And uh, unfortunately, you know, this Nexus Cannon is up for SOS. So now he's sitting here and having to make his own Nexus against someone who has a second. And I don't think there's any opportunity for him to actually kill Zest Nexus. So at this point, you have to, again, give the nod to Zest and say he is ahead. Yeah, with the Immortals out here, there's not a lot of fancy footwork you can really do with the Stalkers. The Immortal just deals damage so quickly. I mean, there's no animation like the Stalker laser where it has to connect with the uh, the unit animation. It just fires and does the damage. So um, that really, you know, voids out the utility of uh, Blake there. Look at this, Tasteless. This is why SOS is just the greatest guy this ever This is watching. so funny. He's going double Stargate, which is going to get scouted, unfortunately, for him. Uh, or not, maybe. What? <laughs> okay, but the Nexus Cannon went up. And the thing is, SOS is not bad enough to think that those might have been real Phoenixes. You mean Zest is... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. SOS is, yeah. So, Zest should look at this and say there's something goofy going on in the right side of his main base. Like, really, that is something he should be able to read here. Uh, but... He's just continuing to make Immortals, and he hasn't been able to check it yet. So and he the, could the, be in trouble. The because more Immortals he makes, the worse this is going to get. Because yeah. um, I mean, the amount that they cost and the fact that um, you know, there's really an air threat that's actually incoming here. He's also getting Zealot Legs and plus one attack, which tells me he's going to be very focused on ground uh, mm. offensive and not uh, air. Okay, never mind. Now he knows for sure what's going yeah. on. Did he cancel the Legs? Uh, no, I, I bet he didn't. Uh, I, I, if I were him, I would continue to get the Legs. Oh, no, he does start playing. I, I was thinking maybe go Archon charge a lot, uh, plus the few Immortals that you already have. Yeah, that have. would be pretty good. Yeah, it'd be pretty strong, but... You know what? The blank is not a bad call at all here because his opponent does not have a mortal tech, nor will he be getting a mortal tech. Because, uh, you know, the robo is going to be something that's a little bit out of his price range considering he's already invested a lot in Twilight and now a real lot in Stargate. And he completely stopped with the Phoenixes, by the way. Mm. Uh, so uh, SOS completely uh, forced into tech switching here. That was probably the better move there. Uh, again, 
We're in a game where SOS is just constantly trying to catch up. Zest does have a substantial lead, uh, a lead in tech and a lead in worker count. Well, you know, with the six Phoenixes, I wonder, because obviously against three Immortals, you can lift them all up, but there's a lot of damage that's going to come out of there. He's got Guardian Shields, he's got even a defensive cannon, he'll have a Nexus cannon, and a good amount of Stalkers as well. There's any chance he might try to blink up into the main with this, yeah. <laughs> and then just have an engagement where the Nexus isn't part of it? I think so, uh, but we'll see. It looks like he's actually just going to go forward. He does lift up two of these Immortals right away, but a lot of Stalkers coming down. I don't know if this down. is going to work, actually. Uh oh, he lifts up every single Immortal, and as the blink cooldown does finish, does, he's going to be able to blink out of there. Stalkers, though, at the afterwards? Yeah, I mean, no, Zest just wins that. Mm. Hands down. Um, yeah, that's a pretty uh, that was sizable brutal. Su supply lead there as well. It, the thing is, he engaged right on the Nexus, where not only was there a yeah. Nexus cannon. Okay, SOS but, just taps yeah. out GG. There was a Nexus cannon there, as well as a regular cannon. But you know what? He had to do something. Everything he did got scouted and countered very, very well here by Zest. And you Zest know, handled that very well. And that was a really uh, nice play by uh, SOS overall. I mean, considering that a lot of things just went wrong for him mm -hmm. back there. Uh, he was definitely reacting properly. Okay, just go proxy gates in his base. I don't Really, no, it worked twice against Hero. I was like, really? Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so, I mean, this this game, if SOS had not gone for a Nexus first build against Hero, I bet you you would have won that because you don't even prepare with that in mind. But as soon as you see him use that for $100,000, you're like, okay, yeah. he feels good about this build. I better practice against it and no counters. Uh, because generally, you'll just never really see Nexus first from Protoss in PvP. Is it safe to say that SOS is like the Null Ra of StarCraft 2 for Protoss? Is he like kind that? of, is yeah. He, like that he is guy? like that. Protoss functions he? slightly differently in StarCraft 2, but it's the same premise same of these, these builds that if you know it's coming, you would stop it. Yeah, yeah. He you is know? actually quite a bit like that. I didn't want him to be, but he is. I never expected him to be I never wanted is. to draw that parallel. You put me in this spot, but well, you know what? All it's these not people wrong. are watching our toes. This isn't the truth. I think it is. I think it is. Our next map will be Alterzeem Stronghold. Now, this is the map that he actually went Nexus first on. He could go ahead and do that again here. Uh, it's easier to defend your natural because it's behind. We are going into game number two here in this best of five. It is the IEM champion, SOS, against the teamly badass, Zest. The winner goes on to the round of four here at the GSS.